Hello everyone, this is Set555, and uh, today I will show you how to make a wirebound turret. I will show you um, how to make a target players and NPCs. Uh, the mods that you will need for today's video is multi-parent and wire mod. I will link both of the mods in the description. So, uh, just to um, show that it will target players, I have this bot right here. But as of now, hold on, we will make the turret first. So first we will need a base. Um, so you'll have to pick up this part of the turret to make it move. It can be any prompt, but for convenience sake, I'll just take a gem. We, can, we also need a gimbal facer. Uh, with a gimbal facer, uh, you can click R on any prompt, and the face, and uh, the face facing up will be what it will point at. So, if we want to point at the client right here, it'll point this way. Uh, so up. If you wanted to point at a chair, it will point like so. At me, like so. So uh, we will also need a ranger. A ranger will need the following settings a, range, a decent range so 9000 you can put it at max then replace the 1 by 9 we'll also need output entity plus ent id uh, this is so that we know what it's what entity it is pointing at um, we will also need a turret make sure also the ranger is at the center of the um, gimbal we will also need a turret um, also, after that, we need two gates, mass center, and is NPC. Mass center outputs the uh, world coordinates of uh, the mass center of the entity that it will be indicated to. Uh, to find the entity, we will need a target finder. Uh, set the minimum range to 1, maximum range to the max of the slider. Make it target players. Do not target owner if you wanted to shoot at players. So, uh, finally, we need a toggle button. So, make sure toggle is on. The value is above 1 for on, and the value off is 0. So let's move our gimbal above the chair, our base, and let's start parenting using the multi-parent tool. Select uh, all your components on the turret, on the gimbal, so turret, gimbal, left-clicking both of these, and right-clicking the gimbal. Left-click the gimbal, and parent it by using right-click onto your base. Let's start the wiring process. So on will be triggered by the toggle button. Fire will be triggered by the ISMPC gate. The ent input on the ISMPC gate will be uh, the entity that the ranger is pointing at. The target of the gimbal will be the mass center coordinate of the entity that the target finder has found. So now, if we turn on the sentry, oh, yes, sorry, uh, we're not making the NPC turret, we're making a player turret. So, replace the NPC gate with his player, it will shoot at any player that it's pointing at. So now we will just keep killing this client right here. If you wanted to target NPCs only, replace the is player gate with is NPC as I've as uh, I've done earlier. And on your target finder and your settings, uncheck target players and check target NPCs. So now, if it tracks a uh, an NPC, it will sh point at it and shoot at it.
that's it for this video. Um, I just wanted to make this video as a little tradition of each year I try to remake a video that I've made. Uh, last year I made the same video but in Gears about 12 and I wanted to just improve upon the concept a year later ish. Um, it may not be the exact date but it is the same summer so that's good enough for me. Um, I won't be posting anything on this channel but this each year I suppose. I just wanted uh, to, to practice some video making skills if I, I need that one day. Hopefully this would have been helpful and I will see you next time.